aquí. Otra cosa. Y te da por dos. From the mountain hear a song the now from past divided Rising of the setting sun, forgotten fate decided. From the heartless hear a song, sweet vengeance, lessons learning. Naked feet in snow and ice below the surface burning. Burning, burning. Ime o Dionisos. I have returned after many years to Thiva, the land of my birth. I have come here in the form of a mortal. Ime theos pu eho pari anthropini morphi. Imi teramu itan ki aftith niti. For that crime alone, she was tricked by Thiva. Imiteramu isemeli me yeni se theo apotondia. But she was tricked by Ira, deceived into giving up her life to Ira's jealousies. Ia ferfes tis miterasmu milisan asima yaftin. These sisters said that she had not conceived by Zeus, but by some mortal. They said that Zeus destroyed her for lying, but it is they who lie. Ime theos ke poli vlastimi pume arnite. This city shames my mother. This city will be instructed in the truth. Those women, all the women of this fallen city, are under my spell. They dance upon the high mountaintop of Kitharonas, their delicate feet cut by ice and stone, their blood freezing as they dance a frenzied dance of worship to me. They do now as I compel them. They hear only what I tell them, and when they soon awake, they will awake into a nightmare. A clear sight awaits them. Cadmos once ruler of this land, has given over his throne to a godless man of sorrow, Pentheus. He too will be instructed. He and every man and woman in the city will know that I am the Onisos, son of Zeus, and they will respect and worship me. My mother will not be disgraced in death, but rather exalted as the mother of a god. No one knows, not even you, <coughs> the wrath of God awakened. God from Mother most divine, yet of these fools forsaken. Beat the drum, tear up the earth, we offer light, not pity. Mercies for the faithful lost, not for this blind-led city, not for this blind-led city. My followers arrive, these women of the East who have been my faithful from the very beginning. Come now and take up residence here, where our work must be most precise. I must go to the mountain. What happens there is as I make it.
Are we there yet? That's a mestizo. Where is my old friend Cadmos? Go and bring him here. Do not be afraid, he will know the purpose of my errand. Yes, he will remember me. I am a prophet, blind to one world, but blessed with the sight of another world others cannot see. Cadmus will remember me. Hurry, go and tell him I am here. My wise old friend, I could hear your voice from inside. Cadmus. us. Βλέπω ότι και εσύ είσαι έτοιμο. We must honor my daughter San Dionysos, the son of Semele, a mortal and a god in mortal Zeus. Πού πρέπει να πάμε να δοξάσουμε το Θεό. Where shall we two old men dance to honor the god? Αν και με γέρο, νιώθω σαν να μου δίνει δύναμη ο Θεό να χορεύω για πάντα. We must go to the mountain. Στο βουνό, πολύ δύσκολο να περπατήσει. Shall we be taking the chariot? Walking does more honor to the god. Walking? Ναι. Then we should walk. The God will guide us and lend strength to our old bones. Are we the only men who will dance on the name of Bacchus? The only men. Oli i ali Andres in eti fli. Tote mis frakse kini sume to taxi dimas. Ela palje mu file. Ta voithisi ona sto nalo na nevu me to vuno ki o theos amas voithisi ke tus dio. Perhaps people will say we are making fools of ourselves. But we mortals must not judge the gods. We can only obey them. Asfiastume. We cannot see him, but Perthea's coming. We go knows what your Vasigias is to us. Echel sto palati. Taragmenos fenete. Who listen? Come. I have hurried back to Thiva from pressing business far beyond our city. I heard that something strange and dangerous was happening here. Disgraceful rumors of women leaving their homes to go dance in the mountain at the command of this false new god called Dionysus. After they are drunk, they crawl off into the shadows to satisfy themselves with men. I have captured and jailed some of them. The rest will be hunted down like the wild animals they have become. Even my own mother, Ravi, is among the possessed. Strict order shall be restored to this city. That of Rodiso. He seems angry. Listen. And I hear that a stranger to our city, some freak, is the cause of all of this mischief. A stranger, sent to create chaos. He too is a follower of this troublemaker, the Onisus. He walks in yellow robes and spends his time in the mountain entrancing the women with the mysteries of this god of shame. Afiste tona peri planete stimpoli? Ke egota tona po ke faliso. Horki, you see here. Ti ne afto? Opa pusmu? What are you doing with that ivy wreath on your head? I know what that means. Take it off. I will not be further disgraced by allowing my own grandfather to behave as though he were a drunken woman. Arnume, your This is your doing, Teresius. This new god is your idea. Another sad attempt to squeeze a bit more profit from your fortune telling. Only your ridiculously great age prevents the two of you from being thrown into prison. And as to these so-called mysteries, Something is very wrong when women are drinking wine to worship a god. Such blasphemy! Blasphemia! Semele was the secret mother of our god. She must be paid respect. Sevasmos! And who are these people? More drunken foreigners? Wise men speak with wisdom, but you let your tongue fly away without control or thought. Talogesu opos ke si iste ilidi. Haftos ove jau spukaro i devis, mi e mera da e hi tromeri dinami sti horamas. I see the coming realization of his glory. Mankind has two great blessings from the gods. The one from Dimitra, blesses us with the harvest of the earth. The other from Dionysos, the son of Semele, nourishes our souls with wine. Metamorphose tot stapili se krasi, a miracle! He wipes away our sorrow. There is no greater medicine for our human misery. It is through the libation of wine that we may communicate with all the gods through the Onisos. 
And furthermore, you must realize that Dionysos is a god of prophecy. He will one day be with Apollo at Delphi. Leaping from mountain to mountain, he will bring balance to our world. Pentheus, do not mistake the twisted thoughts of your diseased young brain with wisdom. You should be welcoming this god, not uselessly fighting against him. You think unclean thoughts about the women. Chaste women cannot be corrupted. You are, I think, beyond help. And yet still, I hope for you to be reasonable. Dionysos would approve of your words. Oh, oh praise God. God! Enough! Tony! Tiresias offers you a very good advice, grandson. Polycali symboli. Ke meta po lafta, anakome o Dionysos en ine theos, pali pende kalo ya den ingogenia. Mitera tu ine semeli. Συγγενεύω με ένα Θεό. Of course, pride is not an asset when we're dealing with the gods. Remember Actaeon? He was torn apart by his own hounds for bragging that he was a better hunter than Artemis. Here, let me put my ivy up on your head. Όπως και εμείς, θα δοξάει στο Θεό. Keep your wrinkled hands to yourself! You disgrace our family! Isteyeri, go dance in the woods for all I care. Your joy shall be short-lived. I will find this stranger and make him sorry he ever set foot in Thiba. I will make him regret he ever dreamed up this insanity. And then can Nuriel they all? I'll put him in chains, hang him, and that will be the end to this nonsense. May I see this? Right law, and now it obey thee. Rest yourself, Cadmus. Let us go to the mountain where the spirit of the god is resting. We must pray that no ill befalls Theva, although I see terrible things for Theva in the time to come. Prophecy is a curse, dear friend. I can only hope that what I see will never come to pass. Ella, as pa me me tapino sin prosevi thume. Tantheas is a fool, and a fool can only say foolish things.
Thanos, my king. What is it? Ah, and who might this be? Αυτός είναι ο άντρας που έστειλε στους στρατιώτες να πιάσουν. Τα κατάφεραν. He was tamed when they caught up with him. Ήταν ήρεμος και χαμογελαστός. Ήταν σαν να ήθελε να τον εχμαλωτήσουν. But I must tell you, my king. Οι γυναίκες που είχες φυλακίσει δραπέτευσαν. Escaped! How? Where have they all gone? Προς το βουνό. Χορεύουν για το Θεό τους στην κορυφή του βουνού. Their chains binding, their hearts had fiend simply turned to dust. The prison door fell off their hinges. The guards were in a sort of trance. This stranger seems to be the cause. Αυτός ο ξένος μπορεί να κάνει θαύματα. Miracles! So, you are some sort of wizard? Isimagos? And yet you stand bound here before me. You don't look so strong now. No. In fact, you look rather weak. Who are you? Why have you come to Thebes? Piosise! I come from the east. Ah, Apotin Anatoli. And what makes you bring trouble to our city? Erhome Apotondioniso, Tonio to thee. The son of Via. So you have your own Via out there in the east. New gods will just pop out of him all the time. He parhimono enas Thias. He married Semele. She begot Dionysos. Married Semele? <laughs> married indeed. More shame on our family. Tell me, did you see this god face to face? Or did you conjure him up in some sort of drunken dream? Face to face. As I now see you. And what are these mysteries? These sacred rites? I really want to know all about them. Only the initiated may learn of our ways. It is profane to speak of our rights to the uninitiated. But what are the benefits? Worth knowing, but a secret. Oh, teasing me a bit, are you? Isn't that nice? Our ways are not to be known by the non-believer. But I'm so curious. You say you saw this god face to face? What did he look like? Timor Fipire. He takes whatever form pleases him. Ah, you are very good at evading direct answers. Why can you not speak plainly so that I might understand? Tia, he's not crazy. If you speak wisdom to a fool, that fool will call you foolish. And have you introduced these wild ways to others? Throughout Asia, people worship the Onisos. He will soon be worshipped everywhere. They are foolish. Tell me, why are your rites held at night? Is the darkness better suited for your lechery and drunkenness? One might also find filth in the light of day. I am tired now of these disrespectful answers. It is time now for your punishment. And how will you punish me? Well, I can't really afford to make a martyr out of you now, can I? No. Martyrs have a way of being incredibly powerful. You will be locked away. You love the night. I will have you plunged into an everlasting darkness. The God will free me. You have no prison that can hold me. Your God. Otheosu, puine Otheosu Tora. Where is your God right now? Ine Mazimu. He stands before you, but you are too blind to see. I am done with your mockery. Off to prison with you. Who are you to imprison me? Ime Vasilias. I am Pentheus, son of Echion and Agave. I am the supreme commander of this city of Thebes. No other stands above me. All who do not stand with me are my enemy and an enemy to the state. Then I shall go to your prison, Pentheus. King of Theba, I must do as you command, but someone will come who will soon free me. Your time is short. You know, I do not like him. Not at all. But let him dance now, alone. 
in the darkness. My friends, why such fright? Our God stands with us strong. He released me, miracle is your sacred song. He hears your sacred song. Did you believe that I disappeared forever into this godless man's prisons? We were afraid, for ourselves and you. How did you escape? <laughs> I freed myself. It was easy. This idiot king and his attendants were cast into a trance by our god, the Onisos. 
They took me to their stable. They worked and worked to bind and tie a black bull that was living there, thinking it was me. The bull fought hard. Many were injured. Pentheus struggled, sweating, clawing at the bull, his mind confused by the actions of our God. And then the earth ripped in half. The palace fell in flames. The prison that was to have been mine was torn apart by the enraged bull. Smiling, I walked away. Pentheus drew his sword and fought with fierceness the many phantoms sent by the Onisos. <coughs> he is quite exhausted now. See, he stumbles from the wreckage. A disgrace! An atrocity! Do balitimo catastrofique! Que oxenos! Trapetase! He was chained to oaken timbers of the stable, and yet. What is this? How is it that you are here? What kind of dark magic is this? Be calm. Your anger will exhaust you. How did you escape? I told you that someone would come who would free me. Who? That God who gives the gift of grapes and wine to mortal men, Ophiostes Feces. Well, if I find him, I will make him pay for this gift. I will put him in chains, and we will see just how natural he feels then. Yes. That seems to have worked well so far. Are you mocking me, stranger? A shepherd arrives to tell a tale. You should listen carefully, great king. Great king! A shepherd? I come from Kitharonus, the mountain of everlasting snow. Get on with it. I know about the snow. I come to offer report of such unbelievable things that I have witnessed. A story of those ladies who have left their homes and gone to the mountain, their white and naked limbs flashing in the moonlight. Pesmo! Thelonoxero, every detail. Their punishment shall be sharp for the disgrace they bring upon our land. We had just arrived upon the upper ridge when we saw three bands of sleeping women. Hatanoe, Eno, and your mother, Agavi, were the leaders. They were sleeping peacefully, not at all out of order as we had been led to suspect. Suddenly, from nowhere, a black bull appeared and awoke them with his cries. Like a vision of grace and loveliness, they yawned and stretched and arose as if under some sweet spell. They caressed the animals that had been lying with them, deer and wolves and serpents, as if they were their children. Agave struck the earth with her staff and water burst forth. Then again she struck the ground and the blood red wine of this new god came flowing in rivers across the rocks. Others clawed the ground with their hands and white milk and thick honey bubbled up. If you had seen it, great king, you would have known it for the miracle it was and fallen to your knees in prayer. Some of the shepherds did just that. But one among us began to talk freely and foolishly. He said that we might be offered some sort of reward if we were to capture your mother and bring her to you. I wish he had never said this. Although, as with most bad ideas, it seemed quite reasonable at the time. So we hid ourselves among the pine trees in order to put our stupid plan into action. As we sat concealed, a cry went out from somewhere and the dance began. They began to dance. There was music without musicians. The mountain was alive with some sort of powerful magic, a madness. Even the animals seemed more alive, more aware. Agave, your mother ran past me and I jumped up to capture her. She shouted to the other women and they rushed at me. I barely escaped alive. And then the horror began. Our sheep and cattle were attacked by the unarmed women. The innocent animals were torn to pieces, as were some of my companions. I hurried down the mountain. I wanted to get away from there. The women followed, destroying everything in their path. They descended on the village at the foot of the mountain. Men tried to defend their homes. 
Spears could not pierce the skin of the women as they pulled the bleeding hearts from the bodies of their assailants. Everyone and everything that had been there is no more. And then, after this great destruction, they returned to the mountain. Great king, you must do everything to welcome this god into our city. He will bring us many gifts or great destruction. The power of the god is great. We must honor him or suffer the consequences. This madness is like a plague. It must be stopped or it will bury us. I will send a company of soldiers to the mountain. My soldiers shall show no mercy. These women must be stopped. You seemed untouched by anything that you have heard. You will lead your soldiers to destruction? Why? Despite everything that you have done to me, still I want to help you. I want to spare you inevitable destruction. You cannot pit yourself against a god. I have listened to you enough. All I care about now is wiping out this filth from Thiva. Wait. I see now that you cannot be turned. Well, what if we take a different path? I can lead you to the women peacefully. You can observe them and understand. I'd pay a lot to see their revels. Why? Because it is shameful. Of course, it is a great sorrow to see such lechery and debauchery. But a king must know his enemy. Am I right? A king must know whom he is up against. I want to see them very badly. I will watch their wild dances in the moonlight. I could hide myself. I can help you. Shall we go now? As pamesto vous no. The sooner the better. Then you must disguise yourself as a woman. Go disguised as a woman? Why? Did you not hear how the other men were destroyed? I would seem ridiculous. You do not wish to see the women dancing to their god of wine? Are you no longer interested in what you might see? How shall I dress? These women will help you. Wait! I need time to decide. Force or stealth? Go and walk among the ruins of your broken palace. The shattered stones will offer their advice. Return when you are ready. When you are ready, we will be waiting here. This little fish will soon swim into our net. Pray that our god Dionysos possess him completely. In a trance, he will be dressed willingly as a woman and led stumbling through the streets of Thebes. He will hardly be recognized as his king. Dressed as a fool, he will go to Hades this very day. He has mocked the god, and now he will die a mockery. The Onisos is a god of very precise terror to all who fail to worship him. But to those who offer proper homage, he is the kindest and most gentle of all gods. He must be worshipped, and that worship must be complete. I will follow this fool and direct him here when he is ready.
Come, little fish, so intent on seeing that which is forbidden. Time to make your journey. Time to dress up and go to the mountain. I wonder what you'll see. I see two suns. The sky contains two suns. Two cities? Two theaters? Isn't that funny? Tia Steele. And you. You look so different now. Or have you always looked just like this? I see a black ball leading me. You see the god, silly man. He's offering you his friendship, his kindness. You could not see him before. Before you were blind, but not now. You see everything clearly now, don't you? Oh, yes. Am I Oreos? Am I beautiful? Do I look like my mother, Agave? It would be difficult to tell the two of you apart. Is it time to go? Let's be sure your hair is straight. Oh, I am in your hands entirely. Yes, I'm your friend. <laughs> You'll thank me when you see the Bakkins. You'll be so surprised. Oh, I feel as though I could lift Mount Kitharonis high on my shoulders. Could I really? Of course. You can do anything now because you see life so clearly. But women are not tamed by such impressive displays of strength. I will hide myself and watch them. Who knows what might happen? <sighs> Lead me through the streets of Thiva. I want all of my subjects to see me and know just how hard I work for them. I will lead you through the city and up to the mountain. Someone else will bring you back down. Really? Yes. I will lead you up and another will bring you back down. Imiteramu. Ne, imiterasu, iagavi. She too was once blind. She ridiculed Semele, the mother of the god. Agavi didn't believe in the divinity of Theonisos. Oh, he. Oh, he. But now, now she believes. Now her life has changed. <sighs> My mother will bring me home. <laughs> Your mother will bring you home. She will carry you in her arms. Carry me? Oh, what a luxury. You go now to your reward. My reward? Yes. Your reward awaits you on the mountain. Agami waits to receive you. They're all waiting for you. Come. Justice now strikes. 
friend. Where have you been? What have you seen? The mountain? Were you so curious that you had to have another look? I have returned to weep for this house and for this city. <laughs> Why? What news do you bring? News of the death of a king. Pentheus is dead. O Pentheus of Vasiliastis Thebes in a cross. Αυτά είναι υπέροχα νέα. Ο Διόνυσος, ο Θεός μας. Όλοι δόξα σ' αυτόν. Why are you all so happy? Πώς μπορεί ο Πανατός του Βασιλιά μας φέρνει απ' τη Ιεία. What kind of creatures are you? We are foreign to your land. We are followers of the great god Διόνυσος. Then this is all some sort of invasion of our city? Ξενή εις πολύ στην πόλη μας. Our borders have been broken. We must defend our land. Don't be foolish. Our king is not of this earth. We care nothing for the scrap of land. Tell us, how did your king meet his end? How did Pentheus die? Pentheus arrived with the stranger at the place of the Minales. They approached silently. Pentheus could not see their strange ceremonies from his hiding place. The stranger then did something that was quite unnatural. The stranger performed some sort of magic. He willed a tree to bow down before him, and the tree obeyed. The stranger then told Pentheus to climb to the very top of this obedient tree. Gently then, the tree began to rise with our king Pentheus at its tip. From his position high above, our king could clearly see the women. To Apocalyptica and Ola. And then the stranger disappeared. The strange magician suddenly vanished. And then? What happened? The sky split open, and fire, not lightning, but fire, shot from the clouds and struck the ground. A voice said, Behold, look up. The blasphemer is now among you. He has come to mock your ceremonies. And then the women saw him. They shrieked. A horrible noise. I feared for my life, but could not turn away. I had to watch. And what I saw next, I cannot bear to tell you. Tell it. Pesta masola. Everything. The tree came down in splinters. Our king Pentheus fell. And then. Change. And then the women, led by our king's own mother, tore him apart. A carnage, a horror. They tore him apart with their bare hands. Pentheus was screaming, Please, mother, do not kill your son. Can't you see who I am? Why are you doing this, mother? Yati. But there was no answer. And now the son is silent. His body lies in pieces, the mountain stained with his blood. His mother, Agave, in a maddened rage, returns. She holds his severed head and thinks it is a trophy. She and the other women imagine that they have killed some beast. Their insanity makes them think that they have only killed a lion. I wish it was I who was mad and that this terrible murder were not true. I can no longer stay. I've seen too much. I am in danger.
poor, unfortunate daughter of Cadmus. Agave, hold up your trophy. Sikosipsi la toto pragmapu krataste heriasu etsi oste alistitiva nadupti ehiskani. Let everyone see the truth. Latitive. He talks it on the snow. Tell me, why do men hunt with spears and arrows and other silly weapons to give them strength? We women tore the life from this animal with our bare hands. We are not afraid of blood. Ohi, emisi yunegas and pavomaste, na la rosu me taheria mas me ema kiniu. We fear nothing. Agavi! Our father, where are my father and son? Huine o kadmos ke o penteos. I want them to see this fine kill. Let everyone know the strength of Cadmus's daughters. We fear nothing. Did I see us, old friend? I went to the mountain. I heard what happened. And now I see that it's true. A carna mu gegoti plos, ke na min evla pa fto ta pesio theama. Tine goni mu kito mo, ti gormu kito mo na diko e gonomu. Oh, father, you have come. You know you are a very lucky man. You can boast of having three strong and powerful daughters to care for you. But why do you turn away when you should be proud? Oh, father, know that I am the mightiest of your daughters. Yes, I have given up all frivolous, feminine things. Given them up in order to hunt the wild beasts of the woods. I kill them with my bare hands. My hands are powerful. My hands are joyful destruction. I fear nothing. Call all of our people to a great feast, dear father, to celebrate the sacrificial beast. Hang its head high in the hall of the palace. I fear nothing. Nothing! Skazmos! The brebin I bear fan ever, sir. The brebin I'm lazing at I have to the freaky. Nephonos. This is Astria Yotil Megalis, Negadacria. Tears for the victim, tears for you, tears for me. Δίκαια μας αφάνισε ο Διόνυσος, όμως σκληρά. Η δικαιοσύνη είναι σκληρή. Old men are so silly, τόσο ανόητοι. I want my son Pentheus to be a hunter like me. I hope he never grows so old as you. But where is he? I want him to witness this mighty triumph. Cadmus, if ever she awakens from this nightmare, she will experience suffering past all relief. Old men, what suffering? What sorrow? Why so sad at such a time? Look up! The sky is the same as before. It's so peaceful, but yeah. brighter now than I remember. It is filled with fire. Brighter. Don't let her look away. Keep looking. It's too bright. Yes, and you feel different now than before. Inside, yes. More away. As if awakening from a dream. And now the dawn. Can you see me now? Josime, can you hear my voice? Yes, we were talking. Tilegame, father! Who's your husband? Etienne. And you gave him a son? Yes, Pentheus. Our only son, Pentheus. Puine aftos. Puine aftos? What are you holding in your hand? The head of a lion cub. Is it? The head of a lion cub. I killed it. They say. Look now with clearer eyes. Kita ti kratasta hergiasu. But what is it? Penteas, my only son. What is it? Pios toikene. Pedi mu masimori sanithei. Who has done this? See now with clearer eyes. See now with clear eyes. We're punished by the gods. No. The mountaintop, Kitharonas, 
Why did I go there? Why would I go to Kitharanas? That is a terrible place. You were sent there with your sisters to worship a god that you mocked. Latria su egina timoria. Sclero masim apto Dioniso. But why did Pentheus come? To rescue me? Ο Πενθέας πήγε να χλεβάσει τον Θεό και τις βαχίες. He, he mocked the ways of the God. Αυτό ήταν σαν εσένα. Δεν πίστευε. Διόνυσο σε ντομένει God. Πρέπει να δοξάσουμε τον Διόνυσο. And that worship must be complete. And now, we're left alone in grief. Λατρεία μας είναι μεγάλη. Πενθέας, your only son, my only grandson. Is no more. Can anyone anymore deny the power of the gods above us? Dionysus is an exacting god. Precise. I should have dressed you on your wedding day, but that day will never come. This is the end of all days. I should have caressed your children, embraced them, but those children die with you. My heart dies as well. My son, my life, my God, Deimulipisume, let me not live without this life. Deimulipisume, let this wasted life be short. Deimulipisume, lipisume.
Ime o Dionysos, que ego y pofero. All that has happened is a result of mankind's pride and disobedience. Perifania que anipokoi. Only think, imagine, how much better the world might be, a paradise of peace and plenty, if only the blind might one day see. It is their choice, not the gods. No one knows, not even I, the word of God forsaken. Turn toward the mountain top, the wrath of God awakened. From the mountain hear a song, the now from past divine. 